but the fact that we tried, we tried to film outside. Uh, should we say hi before? Should we say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hello. So we're actually in our apartment right now because as Miriam was starting to say before Are she... Are you going to keep what I started to say? Yes. Before you <laughs> rudely started without saying hi to everyone. <laughs> um, so we had a whole plan. We're going to do a quick... Well, we're going to do a presentation of ourselves, like a quick video on who we are, um, what we do, and why we're doing a van conversion. Um, and so what Miriam was starting to say is that we had that whole idea of a, of a nice video in a park, uh, filming us uh, in front of our van with Philibert, our dog, and that failed, <laughs> drastically. Uh, because of the wind, because of the noise. So anyway, uh, this is a video to um, tell us a little bit about ourselves uh, and what we're gonna do with the van and what you can expect from our YouTube videos. Do you want to start? My name is Miriam. It's, it's a French, Moroccan, Jewish name. It's a multicultural name. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't exist in North America. Yay! <laughs> Makes my life easier, but your life is even harder. So my name is Tongi. It's an even Frenchier name, if that's something that we can say. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's typically French. Um, usually people call me Tony when I introduce myself. Um, so I guess if we ever introduce each other, uh, that sounded way dirtier than I meant it. <laughs> We choose each other. So if we ever meet, uh, meet <laughs> um, you can call me Tony or just T or whatever, or just call Miriam and she'll tea? call me. Yeah, T. Oh, yeah, T. Yeah, people at my first basketball group call me T. Uh, All right. We are from France. We grew up there. Uh, all our life and we arrived like uh, three years ago. Yeah, so we moved into Canada uh, in June 2016 for me, a little yeah. later for you. October for me, yeah. Uh, yeah, because we had that ambition of living abroad and leave France. Um, and so we chose Canada for multiple reasons. Uh, one is we wanted to perfect our English. So it was our target, our target was an English country. And so Canada was the, was the right fit for us. And it's been ever since. Yeah. yeah, and really uh, like so yeah, we were together before we decided to do that. We've been together for 13 years. Uh, don't do that. Through the time, we realized that the project we had were always like something that the other one wanted also. Projects have been like many and different, but like the bigger one was moving here, and now the new big one is to, um, to do the van. Yeah. So part of why we chose Canada is it's a big country and it's really known for like the natures and the nature and the adventures and the parks and all the beautiful pictures that you can see. Uh, and so we want to experience that and we want to travel in Canada and of course the US. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is why we chose to convert a van ourselves. I've always been like um, really into woodworking and like building stuff. So it made sense for us to not go with a like an RV or an already converted van, uh, but just to buy an empty shell and uh, build it ourselves. So he said it makes sense, yes and no, because even if he likes to work with wood, uh, yeah. he's an IT engineer. So nothing related with building anything in like building stuff, but like digital and not real. And for myself, I'm a project manager and I mostly work with digital pro project like a new website, a new mobile app, or like just organizing the way teams work together. So right. she'll basically be my boss while I do all the work. No, that's... That, I'm that's kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, boss. I'm a project manager, so I'm good at project managing stuff, meaning like organizing uh, what we should do, the next step, etc., etc. But I do not do that alone. We do it together, and that's something that also I think at some point we're going to talk about it. 
um, what type of like uh, tools we use to uh, organize ourselves and uh, the logic that we use because it's a logic that I use at work. So um, I think we're gonna we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, we're gonna go through that because we are giving ourselves time to do the conversion. Uh, as we mentioned, it's not gonna be our our permanent lifestyle for now. We'll see how it goes. We're going to take our time. We're going to take our time recording also what we do uh, because we have family and friends in France. And so we want we want them to be able to see the videos of what we do and not just pictures every now and then. Um, so that's also why we're going to film our conversion. Um, and the and other reason is because like we've been watching videos of van conversion for like a year and a half, at like least. at least. Mm. And we've watched so many of that of them. We watched so many like couples like Iman and Bake, like Trent and Ali, like the Madneys, all those couples that maybe you two you follow and you you watch that explain what they do, how they did it, and now how they travel with it, yeah. and what is their life today with the van and everything that that brought them. So. We learned a lot because, I, as, as I said, we don't know how to build stuff. So we learned a lot through YouTube. And I know it's something that a lot of van lifers are saying. We're not yet van lifers, but like we want to give back to the community. But it's, it's actually quite true because like so many videos we watch with tips and ideas. And we decided to pick one here, one there. We needed to like just find a way to bookmark everything and remember everything. So like that, we are hoping that everything that we found here and there will help you just in one channel. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you should not look at the other channel because of course they've not. got like great content. Please uh, do. But Please yeah. do. We'll see them. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it's just to say here where we loved and what helped us. And here, uh, just like a summarized version of what we've seen in like a year and a half. And what also think is good for us. Hmm. Because we have a dog. Yes. And we're building a lot of things towards that. The fact that we have a dog. Victoria. Yeah, this is something we talk about in our uh, layout video that we're going to share a link to somewhere. I don't know how that works yet. So you'll get a link somewhere on the screen. Uh, but we talk about how we decided our layout, and the dog is the main um, reason we've thought out our layout that way, because uh, he's going to be traveling with us full-time, and we want him to be comfortable, and we want it for us to be convenient as well to have a dog in the van. So you'll see how that goes in that video here somewhere. So for now, we're living downtown Toronto. Uh, it has been, like, uh, great for us, but now with the conversion, it's... A bit of a challenge, something that we will explain also later more in yes. detail. Um, because obviously when you have a van, a big van like ours, downtown Toronto, uh, you stick out and people notice and you want to be able to park easily. And so, so that's... And not too expensive. And not too expensive. That's, yeah, parking Toronto, parking in Toronto is pretty expensive. Like so, all the big cities. Yeah, so we'll go through that, I guess, in another video. So yeah, we live downtown Toronto uh, in an apartment. Uh, we have two cats and a dog. Uh, we'll show you some footage of them right now. Uh, so we've had our cats uh, even when we were in France. It's been like seven or eight years uh, that they've been with us. So they traveled with us uh, from France to Canada. Um, they got used to our new home pretty, pretty, easily. yeah, pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, but we won't be able to travel with them for sure because yeah. we can't put cats in a smaller space. Plus, there's two of them. Um, well, like we could, you can put cats in a small yes, space. You can. We've seen Van Life are doing it, but yeah. like our cats are yeah. couch potatoes cats. They're couch potatoes. They're pretty easily stressed as well. And scared. And scared. But they're not but, so young. Like yeah. if you do that with like a kitten, it's fine because it he's is. gonna get used to that specific space and that life. So yeah. they're gonna stay here. No worry. We're not like abandoning them. They're going to be like in their home with someone that we know and someone that we trust. The idea is to have them stay here in that exact apartment in the environment they know. So, 
Yeah. And so when we come back from our travel, we can also see them. Yeah. See them. Yeah. And take them back when we're done traveling. Exactly. As we said, uh, our YouTube channel is mostly for our friends and family uh, back in France, so they can see the video of what we're doing with our van. Uh, and giving back to the community. And also giving back to the community. Um, and so what can we expect, what can people expect from our social media? Um, either on like the YouTube channel or on our strong Instagram. Ah. Um, right. It's going to be like mostly for sure us, like uh, natural and real as we can be. Uh, but it's also going to be uh, a lot of... Uh, trying to explain why we decided to do that layout, why we decided to pick that van. It's really about like trying to explain our choice to help any kind of person who's, who wants to try that adventure mm. also. And uh, so yeah, it's going to be explaining that, it's going to be explaining, like I said at some point, um, something that is related to my job. So like really explaining how we manage kind of like the project, the van project. Yeah. How basically our personal life and professional life up to this point have led to our van conversion, either in the desire to travel or in the way we're going to do the conversion. Um, we're going to go through it uh, with you guys and with our family and friends probably watching um, to explain why, we, why we're doing this. Because it might sound crazy for some people that we know, uh, and maybe some people that are also discovering the, the van life movement and the van travels. Um, and so I, I, I think it's good to get insights from as many people as you can, as we've done with other videos we've watched and other couples we've watched on the road. Um, so that's why you will be able to follow us on Instagram. Uh, link in the description below <laughs> uh, and on YouTube and who knows maybe we'll have some other means uh, to share our story with you so like it's for some people our friends or like even people that could meet us uh, just a few times it could look surprising that we decide to do a van life uh, honestly we all have that cliche in our mind of like that very hobo, hippie person who's gonna live in a dirty van, uh, living a dirty life just to like uh, walk and surf or whatever. It's kind of like the, the big cliche. But we discovered the van life and we realized that van life is not a type of person. It's just an envy and a desire, a strong desire to discover more, to live something different than the normal like nine to five life that we've been living forever. Mm. And there is something where, you know, you've got that feeling that there is more outside, there is something else. And it's really what is driv driving us, driving us. Uh, to, to do that and to do that project mm. because we were fulfilled when we moved in Canada but we still feel that there is something a little something that we need to try yeah. we need to know that and it, that experience is really about that like learning how to build stuff from our like ourselves being proud of our work yeah. and um, after traveling traveling discovering learning new, maybe cultures, or even like learning how people live in different places of Canada and US. Just North America, I'm pretty sure is going to bring us a lot of surprises. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's pretty exciting to to do that for the next like two years now. It's kind Jeez. of like the plan, building and then traveling. Okay, <laughs> so now you know us, you know everything about us, you know why we're doing that. Um, I think we've been pretty transparent here. Yes, that's the idea. That's just um, filming us as we are, uh, sharing our experience. Uh, hopefully you'll like what we have to share. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any recommendations as well, uh, either for our van build or for our travels or for our vlogging, because we're, we're really new at this. So please, if you have any <laughs> advice on vlogging, don't feel free to tell us. Um, and so, yeah, so please follow us on Instagram if you like. 
um, and hopefully maybe one day in a fan meetup or in Toronto. So yeah, and let us know if you're from Toronto. Yes, please. It let would us know. be so cool to meet you. Exactly. Let us know in your comments, and we love to share like a moment with you and your experience and our experience with you in 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 person. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Bye, guys. I think we talked about everything.